Hey guys, Dave here with the Proof of Manliness channel. Today, reviewing breakdown of Ariat Rambler Sport. So a lot of you can attest to this area is probably the most popular boot brand that's out there right now. You can buy them at Buckle in the mall, you can buy them at tax shops, boot shops, shoe stores, wherever. Ariat is extremely accessible. Um, it's an American company that outsources a lot of their work. Um, I have a jacket from China. These boots are made in Vietnam. So with that being said, Ariat being the most popular boot brand out there, um, a lot of you have purchased them for your first boot or your current boots or whatever. So this is a popular choice among people. And the Rambler Sport is one of the most popular models, I believe. I see them everywhere. So to start off, I originally had a pair of Circuit Patriots, 10 and a half double E width. Tried them on, they're way too small. My left foot's bigger than my right foot. It's a huge issue, whatever, and I have really wide feet. So the Circuit Patriots, 10 and a half double E, were too small. I ended up selling them to my cousin. I go to the store, I get these Rambler Sports. I try on a 10 and a half double E, they actually fit. Now my left one's a little bit tighter and I had to steam them and break them in. Leather boots are like that, it is what it is. So with that being said, the Rambler Sports seem to fit about a half size larger than the boots with leather soles, especially the Circuit Patriot. So keep that in mind, maybe have to order a half size up, maybe not, I don't know. So basic rundown, the shank is all leather, the upper is all leather, vamps all leather, the sole, outsole is all rubber. Now when I say all rubber, the heel is rubber and the outsole is rubber. rubber. There is no midsole on here whatsoever. It's just heel, outsole, that's it. So if you like the classic build of boots with the stacked leather heels and all that good stuff, these aren't it. These are cheaply made in that aspect. However, they are very comfortable and that rubber sole does give you a little bit of slip resistance, especially here in the winter time. Now, if you look at the welt, I believe the welt is synthetic. I don't believe it's uh, leather. So eventually it might crack and break over time. This is the DuraTread outsole, as they call it. And as you can see at the shank, it's, at, it's stitched. So you do get a little bit of uh, strength there. And you can also see that it's stitched on the outsole. So going into the boot, the shaft is unlined. That's a preference for some people. The insole is just basic memory foam or the sock line or whatever you want to call it. Not horrible, it's not great, it's comfortable, whatever, it's fine. But as you look down in here, you can see the insole is fiberboard. So that's not good. Eventually it's gonna crack, it's gonna break. But as you feel up a little bit further, it seems like in the toe section there might be leather. Um, it has conformed to my foot a little bit. So it might be uh, some type, type of leather. And also looking down in the heel, it's nailed. So we have nails in the heel, we have stitching in the shank, and then a stitched on sole. However, there's two lines of stitching in the toe. The stitching goes here on the outsole, and as you put your hand in here and feel, it's a Blake stitched shoe. So this outsole is stitched to the insole on the inside. So I think maybe these stitches are faux, they're fake, it's just for the look, which is, it is what it is, whatever. Looking down that way in the boot, the heel counter is, appears to be leather. So that's going to hold up fairly well. And looking this way, the interior liner is some type of like mesh material. So it gives you a little bit more comfort, allows you to absorb moisture away from your foot, help keep your feet a little bit drier. It's a Blake stitched boot. So getting these resold is going to be a little bit more of a hassle than if they were Goodyear welted. Um, so getting these resold and there's no midsole, so it, it's a direct Blake rapid stitch. Getting these resold probably is not going to be worth it. However, for the price of $135 that I paid um, and they retail 135, 160, for $135, is it really worth getting them resold? I'm not sure. Now, those are all the facts, or at least what I can tell from the boot. Um, how comfortable are they? The leather outsole is actually fairly comfortable. That insole is fairly comfortable. Um, that fiberboard 
uh, isn't going to be the greatest. Like I said, eventually it's going to break. But as far as the boot goes, these aren't bad, $135. Um, you're just not going to get a whole lot out of them. Uh, the welt might crack. Um, getting them resold might be a hassle due to the Blake stitch. And even if this isn't leather on the inside insole of the toe, then getting them resold is pretty much going to be impossible because that fiber board is just going to crack. But if it is leather, it is going to be possible. So in summation, the leather seems to be good quality. It is fairly thick, fairly soft. Um, the break-in process was about a week. I did put a lot of steam to them. I did use some boot stretcher. I have wide feet. I always have to do that. Um, you might not have to, but the break-in period is fairly quick. It is a soft leather. They are fairly comfortable. I can wear them around all day and I don't really feel any discomfort. Um, and the leather outsole is nice, especially when it's wet, snowy, slippery, whatever. Um, but there's a lot to be yearned for in this boot. Uh, Sport Rambler, this is like their sporty version, so I understand why it's built the way it's built. But a better quality boot is going to have a leather welt. It's going to be Goodyear welted. It's going to have a leather midsole and a leather outsole and a stacked leather heel with the nails going in this way instead of going down that way. It's... And they'll get, they're going to have wood pegs all through the shank here. So as far as construction goes, this is like the quick, easy uh, way to build a boot. It's not the classic um, early way of building a boot. Um, so far, I've had them for a few months, and they're holding up. If anything changes, I'll let you know. So that's the Ariat Rambler Sport, $135. Um, looking for a first pair of cowboy boots, um, square toes. These won't look, let you down, I don't think. Um, however, in the years to come, I think they probably will eventually let you down.